Hi, this is Katherine Doverly, the Answer Lady. Today we have an unusual challenge before us. I was recently introduced to a pattern called the Knit Tank Tunic by Lorna Miser, and she did this for the Karen Yarn Company. It's a very pretty hand knitting pattern that falls below the hip in a pattern stitch called Eyelet Stripes, and it is written for knitters who knit on two knitting needles. But I got to thinking that it would be really nice to do this on the knitting loom. I know a tremendous number of loom knitters. And we can do it. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to change her stitch into something workable on the loom. I don't think what I'm getting is absolutely identical because I am not knitting through a back loop, which is part of her pattern. But I think it's presentable and it does match the gauge. Here is how the hand knitting pattern reads. Row one, purl three, yarn over, knit three together, yarn over, purl three, and then you repeat from the first yarn over to the end, over and over across the work. Row two, knit three, purl three, all the way across. So you're purling the knits and knitting the purls because hand knitters turn the work. Now we do not turn our work on knitting looms, so you will note that at the bottom of my swatch, below the pink paper clip that I undid to mark it, I forgot about that and it's not quite right. Only look at the swatch from the pink paper clip up and there I'm getting the correct effect. And here is how. Ignore the end stitches, I'm just slipping the first stitch every row and knitting the last stitch every row just to get a good swatch. But those 12 stitches in between are my swatch of the pattern stitches. So for row one, moving from left to right for me, it could go either way, I am purling three. Next, of the next three stitches, I'm transferring stitch one and stitch three both to peg two, the one between them. Then I'm e-wrapping all three pegs, so that makes a yarn over. And then I'm knitting off the three center pegs. Nope, I said that wrong. I'm knitting the three loops off the center peg, which is the knit three together. The reason that I'm e-wrapping them is to create a little bit more open and lacier stitch because it's important that the eyelets show up and without e-wrapping I was getting a little bit too tight. I wasn't having that problem with the pearls and the pearls aren't what shows up the eyelet either. So row one, purl three, transfer the stitch on each side of the next three to the center e-wrap them all and knit them off and when I knit them off I allow the e-wrap to untwist adding a little length of that stitch then purl the next three and repeat then on row two the return row since we don't turn our work as hand knitters do hand needle knitters we are hand knitters we just knit the knits and purl the purls most of this pattern reads just fine for loom knitters. You'll understand a bind off is a bind off for everybody. We don't have anything that's a wrong side row because we always work from the same side, but you can think of right side rows as odd rows and wrong side rows as even numbered rows. And our main challenge as loom knitters is enough pegs because this wonderful pattern works from sizes 34 to 62 finished bust and the hip area is considerably larger, which is important and necessary if you're going to have a tunic that falls below the hip. Only Twiggy, um, for you youngsters, very skinny model of the 60s, only Twiggy would be pleased with a tunic that fits skin tight down her body. The rest of us want a little more hip room. And this means that the tunic requires from 83 to 143 stitches across the hem. Now the only two looms that I know of that have this many pegs are the longer version of the all-in-one loom using the end pieces that have pegs rather than spacers so you can knit around 
and the um, some of the KISS looms, and both of those will match the gauge. I don't know of other looms that will, but undoubtedly they exist, and if you need one, I hope you find one. I'm going to post a transcript of what I have just said on the loom knitting page on my website so that you can easily print it out and refer to it. And I hope you have fun knitting this pattern. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to slip the first stitch, which just means not to knit it for new knitters. If you're hand knitting on two needles, you actually move it from needle to needle. For us, we just pass it by. And I'm purling the first three. Keep it kind of loose. Okay, now here comes the eyelet pattern. Transfer the left and right stitches of the next three to the number two needle between them. Now loosely e-wrap all three. What you have is a yarn over, a knit three together, followed by a yarn over, just like in the original pattern. Now purl three in the normal way. One, two, remember to keep it loose in order to match the gauge, which is, um, actually the pattern says that it is 16 single crochets for four inches. Of course, we know they don't mean single crochets, they mean stitches. I got out of the frame there for a minute, so I'm going to undo this and do it again for you. We're transferring of the next three needles, stitch one and stitch three to the center peg. E-wrap, 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 and I'm going to go ahead and E-wrap the last stitch. My edge stitches in this instance are only part of the swatch edge. They are not part of the pattern, so ignore them in thinking this through. Now our return row, or even numbered row. I'm going to ignore the edge stitch and slip it. I'm going to knit each of the next three. These were knitted previously. And everything that was knitted, I'm going to knit. Everything that was purled, I'm going to purl. Do you ever do this? Set up a couple of purl stitches at once and lift them off at once. I think sometimes when there are only a few it works out well. Knit, knit, knit. All the knit stitches are e-wraps, remember. And the purpose of that is to keep it a little bit loose, which made me match the gauge better. Of course, I think the design will work if you choose not to e-wrap, but you do need to concern yourself with the gauge. Pearl. If you're curious about my hook, this is on another video of mine called Do-It-Yourself Loom Hook from a Pen and a Nail. One thing I've done before your eyes before but haven't mentioned is that as you transfer that stitch and the one on the other side, let those e-wraps unwrap so as to take advantage of the length that they create. The bottom yarn is a fluffier yarn. 
This is just some that I had around. I believe it is Red Heart with Love. The top yarn is the one that I'll probably use in the real project, and I didn't want to waste any till I got the stitch down pat. It makes a little bit more open fabric. I'm going to slide a white paper behind so that you can see what I'm talking about more easily on the film. I think the eyelet will show up better in this yarn because it's less fluffy. Unfortunately, I don't truly know what it is. It's a mystery yarn that I bought in the Joann's Bargain Bin. Very, very silky and nice. This will not create a modest garment. It'll need a t-shirt or tank top under it. But I think it's more the effect I want for summer.